your Thursday afternoon, October 1 weather forecast. New month, happy October to you. The average high is 62. We'll be below that for the next four days. I don't have any doubt about that. And then we'll climb above it, I think, for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I promise you that after this dramatic cool down, we would likely see a significant warm up the middle, uh, the beginning and middle of next week, and it still looks like the case. Meanwhile, 48 hours to wring us dry, thank goodness, because two and a half inches of rain will soak you good. Joaquin is going to sock it to us this weekend. That's a hurricane that's affecting the Bahamas. It will not be a hurricane when it gets anywhere near us, but it will bring a deluge of rain, it looks like, Saturday night and Sunday. And changes in weather attainment mean that if you check out the pollen allergy report, you won't find it anymore. It's gone bye-bye. Forget about it. And in its place, now that the allergy season is over, well, you'll want to check it out. There's something for everyone there. I'll just leave it at that. Let you discover it as you go along. High pressure across the plains and Great Lakes. You can see lake effect bands of clouds because the air coming across from Canada is so cool. But that high, you don't see it. Forgot about it. Because it's really not going to affect us dramatically other than filtering in the cool air. Unfortunately, the center of it is just too far away and the winds aloft are steering southwest to northeast along the coast, meaning the front has no reason to move offshore and away progressively. And that's just going to leave a train track for this storm, and that is Joaquin, a Category 1 hurricane. So we've got the heavy cloud cover that I do not believe will really break much for the rest of today, tonight, or tomorrow. If I'm wrong, so be it. I'm glad. But I don't think so. But you can see from a day ago, the progress the storm made, but the lingering cloud cover behind it is going to be tough to break. And if you go to the water vapor imagery, that's a day ago and now present day. And all this white, it's not heavy moisture laden clouds like the storm brought yesterday, but it's still going to be tough to erode this before that little monster pushes into the tail end of the front and reverses the whole process. Now, I promise you this would happen days ago. And unfortunately, it looks like a pretty sure bet that come Friday, the front reverses direction, and by Saturday, all the rain sweeps back north and westwards right into your backyard and mine. So by Saturday morning, Oneonta, it's probably raining, Edmiston as well. And Sherburn and Norwich by midday, we're talking Utica, Rome, and by later afternoon, we're talking Forestport and Boonville and Old Forge, and it continues to spread northwards into the Adirondacks by Saturday evening, and it probably rains very heavy Saturday night and Sunday. Here's your almanac. You can see how much rain we picked up yesterday and how much total from the storm. And those numbers may be similar again come this weekend. Be back with your forecast in a moment. Welcome to Intermission. Yeah, Intermission. So here we go, and I'm going pessimistic, and if it turns out better than forecast, so be it. I'm happy for you, but I'm going mainly gray, not only for today with a high of 58, but mainly gray for tonight with a cool low of 40, so you want to bring in any plants or cover them up. And then tomorrow, mainly gray, 56 degrees. You may be able to spot the sun's disk, but I just don't have faith that the front will clear out and the moisture will evaporate enough in time before the storm moves in, bringing heavy rain Saturday evening, night, Sunday, probably into Monday with on off showers lingering through Tuesday as well, and then things begin to improve by Wednesday. That is a check of your Thursday afternoon forecast. Have a great afternoon. <laughs>